Now, there is a word in here that I have used. Siderio, there are two different kinds of motions when planets or moons go around other things. So I will tell you the difference when we look at the moon with respect to the sun, because that's probably the easiest to see. So if we have the sun here, that's my sun. What is the earth doing? The earth goes around the sun, right? And what does the moon do? So this is my moon. So that is the moon. And that is my earth. And this is the sun. So what does that mean? Watch what happens. If I zoom in, this is the moon. And the moon goes around the earth, right? So imagine there is a scenario where the earth is here and the moon is here. The new moon. <laughs> so imagine if this is a new moon. What does that mean? The earth, the, the, the moon will go around the earth. What angle will it go around? 360 degrees? Yes. Okay. Now, this takes two, 27 days to do. However, during this time, the planet itself has moved forward. So now the planet is here. And in 360 degrees, the moon is still here. Do you see it? Is that when it's 360 degrees? Yeah. But is that the new moon? No. Do you see the problem? There are phases of the moon, and then there is a degree to which the moon will travel. So if you're considering the degrees as 360 degrees, that's less than the phase changes of the moon. Does that make sense? So it still needs about two more days until it catches up to become a new moon. So we call these two different things with two different names. One is called the sidereal period. The other one is called the synodic period. So the sidereal period is the time it takes to go 360 degrees. The time it takes for the moon to complete 360 degrees is called the sidereal period of the moon. The time it takes from the phases to change is called the synodic. Got it? So is sidereal longer or synodic longer? Because that's the time it takes from phase to phase. Do you understand why? Okay, so now let's write this down. I'm going to unzoom. The sidereal period, I'm going to move this down here. So a sidereal period is the time it takes a planet to complete one revolution about the sun relative to the stars. So now let's talk about the sidereal period of the moon. For the moon, the sidereal lunar period is the time it takes the moon to complete one revolution around the earth with stars as a background. Okay, so let's write this down. The time it takes the moon to complete one revolution around the earth, which is how many degrees? With stars as background.
And the period is 27.32 days. It's also called the sidereal month. Number two, the synodic month or the synodic lunar period is the time for new moon to reoccur. This happens because the earth is also revolving around the sun. So there is a lag. And the synodic month is 29.53 days. So the synodic month is bigger than sidereal month by about two days. And if historically, when you look at history, you, you'll observe that every culture that was a hunter-gatherer culture had lunar months because they're easy to see. Whereas the, the, the cultures that were agricultural are mostly solar because they need to figure out when to plant seeds, when to harvest, when to do things like that. So it's a, it's a historical fact that cultures that grew up in the desert are mostly lunar 